Operation of the RGC-180 is divided into pre-flight production and production. To begin the pre-flight phase, we're going to enter a test target into the platen. Pre-flight production is where we're going to set the camera height, resulting PPI, sharpness, exposure, white balance, and LCC. We take the PPI chain appropriate for the resolution we want, we drop it down, then we lower the camera until it just barely touches the glass. This will ensure the distance is correct. Distance in FAGI is required to be within a very tight tolerance of the intended resolution. So if we say we're going to shoot at 400 or 600 PPI, we need to be very close to that actual number. The PPI chains ensure that we get there very quickly. To begin focusing, we'll need to open up Live View, switch to the Shutter Control System, open the lens, double click to go to 100% on one of the targets, adjust focus, We'll use a rotate, remove the hand, rotate, remove the hand strategy. And now we are in focus. We'll pause live view, switch to the shutter control system, close the lens, and then close live view. Finally, we can capture an image to ensure sharpness has been achieved. Select the hand cursor, double click on the object target, and confirm that it's visually sharp. Then to confirm the PPI is as we stated, select the crop cursor, check to make sure process recipe is set to a 100% scale, and make sure that crop is set to pixels, and then draw a crop between the 0 and 1 on the target. We expect to see 600 pixels between the 0 and 1, and in fact we have 602. Since FADGI only requires that we're within 1%, we're well within specification for resolution. It's now important to enter this actual resolution into the Process tab. We'll go to the Process tab and change the resolution embedded in the metadata to 602 pixels per inch. Now we're ready to check the white balance and exposure of the image. In Capture One, zoom in on patches 10 to 15 and drop in color readouts on both patch 10 and 15. Then use Pick White Balance and Roughly White Balance to patch 15. Note that patch 10 does not need to be at its target value yet because we've not applied the LCC which will rise that value up. Now drop in your LCC target, reduce your exposure by one stop, and capture an image. If you're using strobe, it's important to make that change using the strobe. If you're using ambient light, you can make a change using the shutter speed. The image on screen now shows the range of tone in the LCC. Name the file something applicable, in this case 600 ppi, IQ 180, and the date, and then create the LCC from it. While it's creating, return your light to its previous amount. With the LCC applied to itself, you're ready to capture a new image, which will automatically receive that same LCC. Now the target value should be much closer to their intended final target. In this case, Patch 10 is at 241. Since we want to target 242, we can use the exposure to fine tune until we get to exactly 242. It's important to re-white balance to get the fine tune white balance on patch 15, and then set that as the camera white balance. We've now checked, set, and fine tuned both white balance and exposure, and we're ready to proceed.